Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Braden Books. If this is your first time here, click that bell, also subscribe. Usually we talk books here. However, today when I sat down to read the second book in the Poppy War series, I was kind of triggered because it's all about war with everything going on in the capital and the scary things that are happening with our president. I just didn't want to think of a war and uh, being in one because <laughs> I'm doing this today because I wanted to step out of the world of America and I wanted to delve into some fucking, some smut, some Victorian smut. We're doing Bridgerton. Get a drink, whatever, eat Taco Bell, Crunchwrap Supreme, I don't care. Popeye's chicken sandwich actually sounds fucking good. The Shonda Rhimes Show, based on the series by, I looked this up today on Goodreads and I already forgot because I am what? A disappointment. This of course is based on the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn. We're gonna delve into the world of Shonda. I know she's a producer on it, so executive producer, you better. Loved Grey's Anatomy. I even, I diddled a little in private practice. This video isn't sponsored. These are my opinions. We're meant to have fun here. 1813. Julia Andrews can narrate my life. All right. It's like ASMR listening to her voice. Is she to breathe, Mama? Dairy Girls! You truly wish to know what I think you look like. On your left! Oh, it's gorgeous. I can tell the set design is going to be amazing. Perfectly handsome sons. Oh. I could fit in there. <laughs> Bridgerton season two. She's a nightmare. I like her. Is that Miss Cracker? Wait. <laughs> Wait, do you see it? Do you s That's Miss Cracker. Okay, anyway. We already have boy butts. I like this show. This Downton Abbey music though. Boobs! Sorry. <laughs> He is so hot, IMDb. He's out and I love him because he's playing a straight character in this, which is great because he's actually showing the rest of the world in Hollywood that, hey, we have range. Jesus, I think he's so sexy. He looks like, it's like a gay Orlando Bloom nummy. Okay, I need to stop harassing him. Jonathan Bailey. Mm. But today is the day London's marriage-minded misses are presented. I can't believe like you had to do that. Like I have to have a husband for my worth. Such bullshit. Oh no, she fainted. Me. I literally broke my jaw last year. Fainted. We'll talk. She's presenting herself <laughs> like a piece of meat. This is so ridiculous. I can't believe we had to do this shit. I, like, I had to do it. I didn't have to do any of this. Her skin is like porcelain. Ms. Cracker, you're looking good. <laughs> She's gonna inspect her. <laughs> it really was like that. Like, you actually had to, like, show. Oh, he's so hot. You had to, like, show your worth in ways like this. It's kind of fucked up. We love to see representation and diversity, though. We'll love to see it. We have an out man playing a straight lead. Are you kidding me? Like, yes, we should be playing our roles, but like, work. Oh, I love to see it. The faster she may burn. That's enough Game of Thrones. Hundred young ladies have a common adversary. He doesn't give a shit. She just doesn't have anything good to say. Debbie Downer. Your dresses have arrived. Your dresses have arrived. Oh. And Penelope, put down that book at once. It shall confuse your thoughts. Oh, wow. She's beautiful. Oh.
Holy fuck. Who is this man? <laughs> Regé Jean Page? Is it Page? Regé Jean Page? I don't know how to say your name correctly, sir, but I'm going to learn to because... Holy fuck, he's the lead? I'm gonna like... I'm gonna like this. My condolences, your grace. <laughs> I like her. I love the gray streak. He's so pretty. We'll forgive some of the acting. <laughs> it's just began, but you know. Every MT major. Are they gonna fuck? So he's a little, he's a little fuck boy. <laughs> We're getting juicy. Oh, this is not even fair. I have, I, <gasps> I haven't been with a man. I've been, it's been, a, it's been like, oh, um, okay, continue. One day I shall seize them. We love the Titanic, Kate Winslet vibes. I'm afraid I cannot. Mm, those mutton chops. Is it weird to ogle like this? That is a good butt. Jonathan, that's a good butt. We love to see it. Oh my god, wow. I worked out today, I'm glad I did, because I might do it again. So tells you my taste in men because he's such a fuckboy, and yet I'm like, over here, thirsting. Should you like my flower? We grow them in our very own garden. Did you like my flower? <laughs> Me when we hope is open. Oh, immediately gonna love her. I love her already. Oh. Is this gonna be an unrequited thing? This is literally like grinder in real life. <laughs> but straight people. They're all staring, mother. Oh, at you. I'm not like this with men in real life. I hope we get gay stuff. I heard that there's no gay stuff. Which, if that is the case, I will say, if we do not get gay things, the trailer was very misleading, and that is what we call in the industry queer baiting. That's all I'll say. To do with the unpaid balance. Oh, his hair is so perfectly coiffed. I wish someone could do that to me all the time. Ambrose is a cheat. How could you? It is the very reason I'm here, sister. <laughs> but I want to do a period piece so badly just so I can do that shit like that. Queen! <laughs> Word. He is so hot. <laughs> wow, I would... <laughs> Sean Cody. Him and the other guy. Jonathan Bailey. Him. The two. That's what I thought this was gonna be. Turns out, no. <laughs> you straights, you always win. <laughs> we need a gay period piece like this. IMDb me. Oh my god, when you're at mother load. When we was open. You've always amused me, Miss Bridgerton. Ever since I was a schoolboy and you were. All oh, but five. Pedo. <laughs> this is weird. We don't like this. My brother. He summons me. Yes. It's like the, the face that you have with your best friend. It's like the... Help me face. <laughs> you lucked out. It went from terrible to great. We love to see it. It's what we call redemption. It's now known forevermore. Mendaka. Daphne, Hastings and I know each other from our days at Oxford. Days which are not soon to yet. I think they hooked up. <laughs> they totally hooked up. Wow, do you see the way he's looking at him? He just sized him up and down. They boinked. His stunning man. Jesus, those pouty lips. Ugh. If only 
I got the, the white upper lip, you know. I don't have one. The most perfect thing for you to do now is not to dance, but to leave them all wanting more. True, I've realized that. Sometimes, sometimes with dating, just a little tease. You don't need to show them the, the goods immediately because it's kind of boring then, right? <laughs> Prepare as many biscuits as he can this morning. We love a girl who eats. I do wonder. Oh man, period pieces are so fun. Look at them. They're like, it's like candy. Anthony, I did not expect to see you here this morning. Why are all the hot boys that look like this named Anthony? Am I the first gentleman? How wonderful. <laughs> Ooh, maybe he's bi. <laughs> One can hope. Oh no, me. Any seeds in her soon? This is the only relationship that I care about. Is them. No barber is harmless. There'll be others. What an impressive. Are we getting a pit shot? Presence it is. Let it whistle. Yes. Let it whistle. Oh. Mm, sorry, this is so inappropriate. Like it? It be hey, could we get could could we get you to, to just everywhere. casually pose like that? No Thanks. All of the women and gay men of the world salute you. Know, do suppose, oh, just in the gentlemen's club. Whoa. Choke. Every scene they're in, I'm gonna apply chapstick. Fuck her forever. Your mistress. Was that the first F word? You shall decide. We're on Netflix, I mean, not ABC. Not. Will it be just the two of us? God. This is like when someone slides into your DMs and it's like, get the idea, and they don't, and then it's like, hello. <laughs> Thought we got the idea. Don't want to talk to you. This is just their life, like trying to get dick and go to balls. Sounds lovely. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you both to my box this evening. I, I invite you to my box, is what she said. Lady Whistledown may write what she sees. Perhaps we need to help her to see things a bit more clearly. Ooh, devious. <laughs> Me, every day in quarantine. Without a doubt. You appear displeased. Do I? You appear displeased. <laughs> you are aware of my reputation. So he's a bad boy. The amount of shit you had to go through to get dick. To be friends? We are good friends, which is why I know he has absolutely no intention of marrying. Because I want to marry him. Your father. Do you bring father into this? Don't bring father into my homosexuality. Okay. Comment down below. Do you like your men with chest hair? I like it. I like it. I cannot see you anymore. Must be done. And now? What shall I do now? You shall leave. You shall leave. <laughs> A scandal. A scandal. By the way, if I continue watching Bridgerton, she, I, I watch for her. I watch for you. She is ill. She is so sweet. Escort Miss Featherington to the floor. We love to see a pretty boy who has a heart. Oh, yes. Oh, the tension, it's building. Are they gonna fuck? Not, not that, Did, not, not the cum rag, the cum sheets, and then the cream shot. Wow, this is Netflix. This, we're not on ABC anymore. I am curious to see if you've read the books, how they compare, comment down below. We don't slut shame. Superior. 
Miss Cracker, could we get you in the garden? Nigel. Cracker in the garden. Nigel. Walking the set. <laughs> yes. In need of your derision, sir. I do not mock you. Do you guys like that trope in movies and books and stories? That setup of like, they hate each other, then they love each other. They're gonna, they're gonna play pretend. They're gonna. Mm. Yes, I love firework shots. The firework shots in um, Brokeback Mountain. <sighs> love it, I love them. Love fireworks. His acting got better. Or maybe I'm just like falling for him. Could be. Upset plan. I find it quite brilliant. Provided you do not wish to marry me, and I do not wish to marry you, whatever should he have to lose? Beautiful shot. <laughs> Sorry. The young miss secured her newfound suit. He's absolutely in love with him. I feel like that's either subtext they're gonna be explored if they get a second season, which the numbers, they probably will. Lady down. All right, we did it, Bridger Tones. <laughs> That's disgusting. This was actually really fun. I kind of want to continue it either with Bridgerton or something else, or I might do a pilots of TV shows that have been adapted from books. I don't know. Well, I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. Um, comment down below, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think, if I should do more of these. Really sad to see what is happening in the world, but you know what, books, and stories like this, sometimes you need just escapism. Will I continue Bridgerton? I mean, I probably will actually. I'm disappointed about the gay storylines. Like I said, that's a little bit of queer baiting, but they have plenty of time to give us those stories if they decide to and hopefully will, because uh, we love to see inclusivity, right? If you have read the book series, comment if I should read them. I'm not sponsored, but I am a member of Book of the Month and my choices, The Prophets, by Robert Jones Jr., as well as Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Uh, my camera's gonna die. To be continued, peace and love. I'm gonna go Google that guy now. <laughs>